Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Hidden Rees. Life after death. Many of us have wondered what happens after we pass away. From a scientific perspective, we know that the body begins to decompose after death, and the physical processes that support life, such as breathing, circulation, and brain function, cease. The body eventually returns to the earth and its constituent elements are recycled into the environment. This is the common and proven theory about our death. But our theory of the universe, called biocentrism, in which life and consciousness create the reality around them, has no space for death at all. To fully understand this, we need to go back to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, one of the pillars of modern physics. An important consequence of his work is that the past, present and future are not absolutes, demolishing the idea of time as inviolable. A book titled, Biocentrism. How life and consciousness are the keys to understanding the nature of the universe. Has stirred up the internet, because it contained a notion that life does not end when the body dies, and it can last forever. The author of this publication, scientist Dr. Robert Lanza, who was voted the third most important scientist alive by the NY Times, has no doubts that this is possible. Death is not the end but simply a quantum reboot which repositions us elsewhere in alternative space-time, according to a mind-bending new theory. Beyond time and space. Lanza is an expert in regenerative medicine and scientific director of Advanced Cell Technology Company. Before he has been known for his extensive research which dealt with stem cells, he was also famous for several successful experiments on cloning endangered animal species. But not so long ago, the scientist became involved with physics, quantum mechanics and astrophysics. This explosive mixture has given birth to the new theory of biocentrism, which the professor has been preaching ever since. Biocentrism teaches that life and consciousness are fundamental to the universe. It is consciousness that creates the material universe, not the other way around. Lanza points to the structure of the universe itself, and that the laws, forces, and constants of the universe appear to be fine-tuned for life, implying intelligence existed prior to matter. He also claims that space and time are not objects or things, but rather tools of our animal understanding. Lanza says that we carry space and time around with us, like turtles with shells. Meaning that when the shell comes off, we still exist. The theory implies that death of consciousness simply does not exist. It only exists as a thought because people identify themselves with their body. They believe that the body is going to perish, sooner or later, thinking their consciousness will disappear too. If the body generates consciousness, then consciousness dies when the body dies. But if the body receives consciousness in the same way that a cable box receives satellite signals, then of course consciousness does not end at the death of the physical vehicle. In fact, consciousness exists outside of constraints of time and space. It is able to be anywhere in the human body and outside of it. In other words, it is non-local in the same sense that quantum objects are non-local. Dr. Lanza is belief that consciousness exists through energy which is contained in our bodies and is released once our physical beings cease in a process he calls, biocentrism. As such, when our physical bodies die, the energy of our consciousness could continue on a quantum level. Conservation of energy is a fundamental axiom of science. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy can't be created or destroyed. It can only change forms. Although bodies self-destruct, the me feeling is just a 20-watt cloud of energy in your head. But this energy doesn't go away at death. A few years ago scientists showed they could retroactively change something that happened in the past. Particles had to decide how to behave when they passed a fork in an apparatus. Later on, the experimenter could flip a switch. The results showed that what the observer decided at that point determined how the particle behaved at the fork in the past. Think of the 20 watts of energy as simply powering a projector. Whether you flip a switch in an experiment on or off, it's still the same battery responsible for the projection. Like in the two-slit experiment, you collapse physical reality. At death, this energy doesn't just dissipate into the environment as the old mechanical worldview suggests. It has no reality independent of you. As Einstein's esteemed colleague John Wheeler stated, no phenomenon is a real phenomenon until it is an observed phenomenon. Each person creates their own sphere of reality, we carry space and time around with us like turtles with shells. Thus, there is no absolute self-existing matrix in which energy just dissipates. This theory is based on Albert Einstein's famous quote, when he said, 
Energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be changed from one form to another. Lanza also believes that multiple universes can exist simultaneously. In one universe, the body can be dead. And in another it continues to exist, absorbing consciousness which migrated into this universe. This means that a dead person while traveling through the same tunnel ends up not in hell or in heaven, but in a similar world he or she once inhabited, but this time alive. And so on, infinitely. It's almost like a cosmic Russian doll afterlife effect. Multiple worlds. This hope instilling, but extremely controversial theory by Lanza has many unwitting supporters, not just mere mortals who want to live forever, but also some well-known scientists. These are the physicists and astrophysicists who tend to agree with existence of parallel worlds and who suggest the possibility of multiple universes. Multiverse is a so-called scientific concept, which they defend. They believe that no physical laws exist which would prohibit the existence of parallel worlds. The first one was a science fiction writer H. G. Wells who proclaimed in 1895 in his story, The Door in the Wall. And after 62 years, this idea was developed by Dr. Hugh Everett in his graduate thesis at the Princeton University. It basically posits that at any given moment the universe divides into countless similar instances. And the next moment, these newborn universes split in a similar fashion. In some of these worlds you may be present, reading this article in one universe, or watching TV in another. The triggering factor for these multiple worlds is our actions, explained Everett. If we make some choices, instantly one universe splits into two with different versions of outcomes. The fact that our universe is not alone is supported by data received from the Planck Space Telescope. Using the data, scientists have created the most accurate map of the microwave background, the cosmic relic background radiation, which has remained since the inception of our universe. They also found that the universe has a lot of dark recesses represented by some holes and extensive gaps. Theoretical physicist Laura Mersini Houghton from the North Carolina University with her colleagues argue, the anomalies of the microwave background exist due to the fact that our universe is influenced by other universes existing nearby. And holes and gaps are a direct result of attacks on us by neighboring universes. While some of the concepts proposed by biocentrism have been supported by scientific research, the theory as a whole has not been definitively proven or disproven. It is important to note that biocentrism is a relatively new and controversial theory that challenges many of the assumptions and beliefs that have been held by scientists and philosophers for centuries. As with any scientific theory, it requires rigorous testing and empirical evidence to determine its validity. Therefore, while biocentrism offers a unique and intriguing perspective on the nature of the universe, more research and analysis is needed to fully understand its implications and to determine its scientific merit. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe our channel for more interesting video.